Hello, and welcome to a very special something different, The Baron's War, a medieval skirmish game that you can get from Foot Sore, Mini or Foot Sore Miniatures. Ugh. It's been out for a few years now, and there's a number of different uh, supplements to it, including a fantasy uh, rule set that I believe is going to be coming out in the future, which uh, you can find some information on right now. But within the context, this involves a historical event in England, but can go out to uh, different elements such as the Crusades and on and on. But if, for that, it mostly focuses on a historical event and the number of battles involved in it. The book is quite interesting. It's well made. It's in a smaller format than some might be used to, but it's about a manga. It's a little larger than the manga format, I'd say. But I quite like it, and I think it's very well done. And let's see, what does it use? Well, in terms of dice, there's really only two die that you use. A D6 and a the D10. Now, you're going to use the D6 for movement, so you're going to be rolling for movement and things like that, and morale when you take casualties. There's some other elements in it, but we're not doing a deep dive. Now, the D10 is used for uh, attacking, opposed checks, so on and so on. So you could need anywhere from 1 to potentially maybe 10 or more D10, just depending on the units that you're dealing with and the size of them. The game size-wise for the amount of miniatures you need, you need somewhere from about 14 to 40, the book suggests. Though it could be variable depending on what you're looking for, how you want to build it, sizes you want to play, yada yada. And the book itself is about 126 plus pages with the back having... Um, a page that you can photocopy the uh, the various activation tokens. There's an army roster and a quick reference for rules. It has a, a number of different attributes that won't be too much of a mystery for anyone who has actually played uh, a Warhammer game or a game similar to Warhammer. You have uh, movement, attack, defense, morale, and so on so it, it's not too far out of what one would expect with a war game now within it we have a number of different unit selections since this is more a greatest hits of something that might be interesting to you of spearmen knights sergeants crossbows uh cross or crossbow men bowmen militant monks levy and a number of things like knight commanders, historical characters, and yes, Robin Hood and his merry men. And it's quite a well done rule set. It has most of the abilities that one can add or use with a unit, uh, equipment, uh, historical characters, of course the merry men as uh, talked about, um, scenarios, how to set up the table, aka, and things like that. And it is very readable. And it's very well made. It, it gave me a bit of an Osprey Books feel from the art and the way it was done. Not necessarily in that it looked like an Osprey book, but the art gave me that look and it reminded me a bit of those old kind of military tech or historical books that they would produce. <clears throat> Pardon me. Still recovering from a cold, so a little bit rough here. This game might be of interest to people as I flash a, a few different units and such on the screen who are looking to dip their toes into another system that they could just get one book. There are other books you can get to expand it and different unit expansions like To the Crusades and of course there's going to be a fantasy expansion at some point and are looking to basically kind of dip their toes outside the game's workshop um, 
lines of things. Maybe you're interested in a little bit of historical or you want something that's a little bit more in line with uh, some old fashioned kind of skirmish games. So it's not bad for those and I think with a little bit of work you could turn this into something that you could even use a number of old Warhammer fantasy models. And especially with the fantasy expansion they're bringing out, it shouldn't be too hard. Um, I've seen dwarves, uh, men, elves, and orcs, which is quite an interesting selection and nice models. Speaking of the models, I had the book bundle that came with um, the Bishop of Winchester. Now, they are actually closer to true uh, true 28 millimeter uh, they are usually white metal so they're not anything too complicated so if you don't like white metal there are some options outside that which you can get um, at foot sore or not foot sore minis at um, war games Atlantic they're doing a pla couple plastic kits and there are a good number of options just from um, the website itself. You can get usually mounted and unmounted characters, a number of different options there, but they're starting to get into plastics. <clears throat> For the virtues of this, I'd say it's, it's historical to the point it doesn't have to be. It's fairly easy to learn and pick up uh, you don't really need a huge investment into it um, to to play and try out for prices on the books I'm going to put this up here price wise the rule book currently for the printed version is $23 the PDF is 14 but if you want to get the bundle that is the core Barons of War and the Barons of War PDF uh, rulebook, it's $27. That's not bad. And you can get a number of actual characters for eight to 12 bucks. There are some characters that are more expensive, some units that are more expensive, but the thing is, you got a lot of options for a price that's fairly low. So investment wise, this is what you could do. You could get the PDF, for $14, pick up the uh, the Foot Knights box from Wargame Atlantics and be mostly well off from there to at least play some very small level uh, skirmishes in it. Is it going to light the world on fire? No. Is it an option that I think that is very high quality, well, very well supported? And has an interesting ability that it's going to be able to expand out to cover different time periods, events, and of course start to encompass some of the fantasy elements as well. I think it does and I think a lot of people might find a lot of enjoyment just from a very simple medieval style skirmish game that can grow but not grow to levels that are just too unwieldy to even consider. And, of course, if you want to wait for the fantasy, there's going to be that. But uh, I think this is a good recommendation for people who want to start testing the water. And potentially, you could still use some of your game's workshop models to even test it out. Depending on you and your, your potential opponents or, you know, fellow players. Um, the book itself is very well made. It's uh, been very sturdy. I have a first printing of it. So it's lasted four years of me paging through. And I can go into more detail. But for right now, I figured I'd just talk about what the game had in it. Give a very brief explanation of it. And uh, I can always go into more detail if people want. The stat lines are easy to read. The rules are easy to understand. And... As far as I can tell you, the games progress at a fairly decent pace. Um, are there rough spots? There are a few. But it's a war game, air quote, skirmish game, 
So you're going to find that. So I think for people who are interested in looking outside of the Games Workshop Spear at something that's fairly well supported and has an expanding set of rules that you can add in as you wish or not, this is definitely what I'm going to give two thumbs up. If people want, give me a comment and I can go into more detail about like the, the, uh, the way the game is a bit more in detail. AKA like, oh, here's the stats and this is the, the units and yada yada. But I give it a recommendation if for nothing else but to read and maybe just to test things out with the local table. Because honestly, one of the biggest hurdles is always going to be the cost. And a lot of people do not want to change a horse when they got a sunken cost into that horse. So I give it two thumbs up on the recommendation scale. It's a good product. It's very well made. It's very well supported. And there's an increasing amount of support, especially with some of those plastic kits coming out from War Games Atlantic. So thank you for joining me. And hopefully this brief and very shallow explanation and talk about this uh, game system has at least gotten your interest. And I can always talk about it more. But thank you for joining me and have a lovely day.